Hi, my name is Sabina. I'm a postgraduate architecture student at the Bartlett in London. I'm here to give you a short introduction about my fourth year project, which is called The Death, the Mine and the Soil. The project is the result of a site investigation and a narrative-based approach in response to the forthcoming death of Venice. In the Venetian lagoon there are currently 10 abandoned islands, among these, in the south of the lagoon, is the island of Poveglia. Poveglia is also called the island of death, because in the past it used to serve as quarantine station for those suffering the plague, and later on as a mental hospital. An estimate published by the National Geographic suggests that over 100,000 people died on the island. Because of that, half of its terrain is believed to be constituted by human remains and for the same reason is constituted by a highly fertile soil. The project aims to reintroduce the autochthonous Dorona grape in the island and implement the process of composting to turn the deceased in a bunch of soil reused as fertilizer for the vineyard. The island is then inhabited through the introduction of a biodynamic winery, which is raising from the soil where it will ultimately return. The winery is housed inside a cathedral, performing both practical and spiritual functions. The cathedral construction strategy follows the notion of burial and transformation, suggesting a continuous cycle where materials that have gone for an aerobic decomposition are reused for aerobic construction. The winery is in fact made of sand and clay from the excavation site and petrified wood from large poles that used to serve as foundations in Venetian palazzi and petrified over time due to the high content of silica minerals in the terrain. Eventually, the course is a representation of the transmutation of Venice. It wants to present us death as something potentially beautiful from which we can learn and evolve, a parallel world that is synchronized and dependent to ours.